Howdy folks, TJ here. Want to show off what I feel is the best van life uh, camper RV where you've got a little bit more room but still need to maximize space cookware set. Now, I've been camping forever, and we've got plenty of cookware that we've used over the years, but we wanted something a little nicer for our Pleasure Way Tofino that we recently purchased this year. Watch my last video. I introduced it to you folks. And uh, I want to show off Magma. What a name. Magma. Magma. <laughs> uh, this is a really slick cook set. Now, about a year and a half ago, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I did buy a Ram ProMaster that we were going to convert into a camper. I went out and purchased this kind of cool uh, totem, uh, I love cookware or I love cooking uh, cook set. Would have been fine, but unfortunately it wouldn't work on my Pleasure Way Tofino induction stove, even though it says it's induction ready. I'm finding that this Tofino induction stove is a little picky uh, and the cookware that we bought is a little bit too much I think for the pleasure way in terms of the space that we have so I wanted something a little smaller a little lighter weight because the I love cookware set think kind of cast iron but lightweight cast iron and it all compacted fairly small but wasn't quite right and again it didn't work for the induction so it would strictly be used outside uh, and I wanted something that during a rainy day, we could actually cook something in on the induction stove. So I had to scramble and found this magma cook set that is really slick. So that's what we're going to talk about. Now I'm wearing a jacket today because it's a little cool. It's 58 in the house uh, here in the lower mountains of California. It was down to around freezing this morning and my giblets were cold. So I wanted to cover up because I don't want to show my giblets on TV uh, and I'm still wearing my shorts so think of me as kind of like the UPS driver always wearing shorts but I'm not that mad so when I go outside later I will put on some nice pantalones because then the other giblets will freeze and fall off and we don't want that happening but this is about cookware not TJ's giblets <laughs> if you watch my channel yeah I'm kind of a silly bloke so magma it's what Jim and Jerry the 1970s if you go to magmaproducts.com I think is their website twin brothers that um, uh, were on boats and wanted better cookware and came up with magma products. So it seems like it was kind of initially made for the marine industry, but then campers and RVers and all that kind of gravitated to using this. And I think I had just Googled uh, compact collapsible cookware or something on uh, internets and came up with this magma product. So let me show you the box first and then I'm going to show you what we actually purchased and how cool it is. And if you have a Pleasure Way Tofino, which is what we have, I have used two or three of these pots already. They seem to work fine on my stove. Don't know if globally it works on every induction stove out there. I'm finding this is our first induction experience. So I'm not sure again if ours is just a little finicky or if that's induction stove in general. But anyway, for us, it seemed to work fine. So if you get it and it don't work on yours, don't blame TJ because I'm telling you now, it may not because induction's got a little voodoo behind it. Um, and the nice thing is you can use it on gas and everything else to set. So let me show you the box first. So here is the top of the box that it came in. The box is fairly small in general. And I'll show a couple of different angles. And what does the top of the box say? It says, magma. <laughs> A uh, 10 piece gourmet nesting. That's another word I think I typed in nesting. Think of uh, the dolls, the nesting dolls that you open one up and there's another one and another one and another one. That's what this thing ends up being and it's fairly small. Cookware set with Ceramica nonstick. World's best gourmet cookware induction capable. And you can see from the picture, we purchased the 10 piece cook set, but everything boils down into that one big pot and another pot closed on top of it. Side of the box, one side of it at least, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'm just showing you the box anyway. And what does it say on this side? It kind of shows you all the nesting stuff. So it shows you all the components and pieces and extra stuff, like this carry bag here was an extra that I had to purchase separately, but it shows you all the stuff that you get. Uh, uh, omelet saute pan doesn't come with this, but I need to buy that. That looks bitchin'. And we ended up getting the red color. I think there was like red, black, and 
was it white or silver? I'm a little colorblind, but it was lighter. Um, uh, so uh, let's see, where's, where's the breakdown here? Uh, it's a lot of pots. <laughs> Tell you each and every damn pot. I don't want to get that into it. It's just a freaking cookware set, but it's a kick-ass one. So, uh, yeah, and it even comes with a little. I'm gonna call them doilies, uh, doilies, <laughs> but they're not doilies. They're you, I, uh, you need to put something when you're driving down the road and you've got pans that are clinking and clonking. I go mad with the littlest tick at nighttime. My wife always gets these clocks that go. Tick. And it's like torture all day long. And I go mad. So anything that clinks and clanks, I don't want that going down the road when I'm driving for eight hours. So uh, these little nesting things quiet that down, which is kind of cool. Okay, this side breaks it down. Magma, this side breaks it down a little bit more. So I will read off what it comes in. So I'm going to give you the whole thing. Um, okay. 10-inch uh, diameter skillet fry pan, which we've used. Excellent. Skillet stock pot lid, lid that fits all saucepans. Just think, that's how they compress this down. One lid does all, although I think there's two lids. Uh, two quart source pan, three quart source pan, five quart stock pot, two removable handles, uh, no skid pot protectors. That's the uh, non clickety t -t 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 things that I was talking about. Bungee uh, storage. And if I start wiping my nose, Think allergies, think 58 degrees, think my giblets are cold, and my nose is starting to run because it's freaking cold in there. I need to go turn on the fireplace. Uh, Magma Products is in Lakewood, California. How slick is that? And it says gas, electric, induction, halogen. What the hell is halogen? I've never seen a halogen stove. The tech they have these days, I tell you. Glass ceramic and oven safe. Don't put the bungee cord in the oven, though. That would be stupid. I do stupid things, though, once in a while. Store is fully... Okay, here's another side of the box. Uh, I'll show you the pots eventually. <laughs> okay, a store is fully nested in less than a half cubic foot of space. Awesome. Ceramica non-stick coating. Ceramica will not stain, peel, blister, or flake. It's not like my body when I go out in the sun. I blister, I peel, I flake, all sorts. Of, and you gotta use head and shoulder. No, your head and shoulders so you don't get dandruff flakes all over and beard flakes. <laughs> uh, non toxic, earth friendly, PFOA, PFTFE free. Well, that's a lot of letters. Highly scratch resistant, excellent for kitchens, RVs, boats, camping, or anywhere space is limited. 10 or no, 1810 mirror polished stainless steel. That's their Jim and Jerry's claim to fame. They wanted something that was stainless steel. Induction compatible magnetic stainless steel bottom. And as a side note, if you go to a campground, it has a metal steel uh, picnic table. Do not pot, put the big fat ass pot on there because you might have a problem pulling it off. Don't ask me why. Uh, I just said that, but Metal, magnet, big magnet, stick. You have food in there, it can be a catastrophe. Heavy tri-clad construction encapsulated bottom for perfect uh, even heat distribution. Oven safe, instant thumb release and removable handle. Uh, so I think I showed you enough. The bottom of the box is white. <laughs> uh, so the box is nice. It's nice heavy duty. Now, what I purchased separately is this little bag that everything came in because I wanted extra protection. I wanted extra clinky, clinky, clinky control. Uh, it does have a handle if you want to carry it as such. Uh, and it's got a little Velcro thing that you can undo. When I was traveling in the camper, I just left it like this. I don't think you need to put that on there. But it, it's nice. It says Magma World's Best Nesting Cookware. And you know what? I'm starting to, oh, this thing, it's still a little heavy. Uh, my, my body's shimmering a little bit. It's still got some weight to it, but the nesting of it's really cool. So this is a nice carry bag. And it even has, it looks like a little ventilation. Whoa! A little vent ventilation here uh, on both sides, actually. So clean your pots and pans before you stick them in there. But I guess if it's a little moist, it, it gives it a release. So there are some zippers here to unzip. And then this whole thing flaps out. Now we're going to pull it out. In, I'll show you the, 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 the carrier afterwards. Two handles. Oh, i got to stand up to 
take this out. And you can see it. You gotta kind of peel it out. Oh, I already got this. Get up, get up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. All right. So, on this case, there's two little uh, Velcro insides that you can slip the handles in, and then the big cavity. I'm, I'm covering my face right now, but yeah. So there. Now, just as a tip, I'm a smart lad. So when you try to put this in later, and you've got this little vel um, bungee cord, it kept flipping off when you're trying to put it in here and trying to push it open and push it in and it's not going in. What you do, because <laughs> I'm a smart lad, is, uh, what did I do? <laughs> okay, yeah, you tip it over like this, and then instead, without the handles in, you can kind of push this over the top and then flip the whole thing over, like a bunt cake or whatever you call it. You can flip it over, and then it's in there. You don't have to kind of try to push it in. I found that a little easier. I'm a smart lad, like I said. So that's the case. It, it's heavy duty, gives a little extra t -t -t protection, and I, it fits perfect perfect in by 2022 chassis, Pleasure Way Tofino, in the bottom, uh, underneath all the uh, hoses and such for your uh, sink and stove, fit in there really perfectly. So this fits in there. Now the older Tofinos, I think the cabinetry is a little different, so you'll have to measure and all that. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and flip this over. Okay, in fact, a measurement, before I undo this, uh, do I have a tape measure over here? Yeah, I do. Uh, even though it probably shows the dimensions on the outside of the, the package, it's roughly about seven and a half inch tall, and from handle to end of handle, about 14. But then, of course, you can kind of push it in kitty corner, and you just really need to, oh, I'm spitting all over this thing. Don't come over to my house to eat food if I'm cooking and spitting all over. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's definitely a smaller. Diameter is like a little over 10, 10 and a half inches or so. Uh, but handle, end to handle, is about 13, 14, something like that. And then again, I gave you the height. And yeah, you know, with a round thing, you only have to do diameter and height. You don't really need to measure, you know, like a box. And then there's handles. So this thing does come with a bungee cord. And as you noticed when I was kind of tipping it over, the bungee cord does hold, but stings still, still shift around a little bit. But what this does is it just holds everything together. So here's the bungee cord that they give you. One side's got this little thing. And if you're in a pinch and your 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 mate is being a little uh, ornery with it, you can smack them. That's normally my wife smacking me. Oh, it hurts a little bit. But yeah, it could be used as a tool or whatever. Or if you're doing your morning calisthenics, you know, you can work out a little bit. On the top is the fry pan. So we've used the fry pan already. So fry pan. And it's got this ceramic coating. And I guess it kind of looks like you know, the old enamel pots that you would have. It's got black and then it's got white specks in it, right? And the bottom of this, I mean, this is a nice stainless steel bottom. I don't know if the light, let me twist the light over here just a little bit. I don't know if that'll help. But anyway, uh, very nice bottom. And it says, uh, you know, magma 1810 stainless steel, magnetic induction. And again, don't place this on a uh, steel table. <laughs> Okay, so next is the lid. And this, both sides say magnet. Everything's nice. So here's the lid. That lid fits on this. I don't know if that's in the shop. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, then nested all in here are all the rest of the pots. And then there's the clink control, Colonel Clink control. Only you older folks will know who Colonel Clink is. But it's got the multi-pot, look at how many layers that thing has. So this one cover does like a bajillion pots. It's got every single one under your scenario. And that first one, here's what it kind of looks like in here. See how everything's nested with those little clink control things? Uh, here's the small pot. That's I guess probably the two quart. And you'll see that with the little riblets here, it does fit on there. Now it looks like a little hat on the smaller one, but that's kind of cool. I dig that. So small pot, and then here's the, it's you got this nice little pattern, and they're Chinese stars too, so when you're uh, bored and it's raining and you're stuck in your pleasure way Tofino, you can say, hey honey, and just zoom, <laughs> zim it at her, smack her in the face, and it won't hurt, because it's just little felty stuff, right? 
and, and then if you do that to the dogs, they'll be ripped up and you won't have them anymore. So don't play around with those dogs. Here's the next bigger pot. I'm guessing this is probably the three quarter. Uh, I'll just put them all up here. Uh, here's another Chinese uh, star. I, I was a Kung Fu Karate Kid and into college a little bit and then I tried again martial arts at 40 pulled something and I've never done it again but as a youth I enjoyed karate and Chinese stars and all that stuff uh, another big pot I forget the quartz but it's bigger uh, and then another huge star so this is what happens when you're young your under shrooms are this size then you get to teenage years your under shrooms uh, your under roos get a little bigger you know, do they make underoos for adults? I need to check that out because I would dig them. Then your underoos get this size. That's my size or one size up now at this point in stage of my life. Underoos. <laughs> and then the big pot. Look at how herking this thing. And the big pot, that fits on. All these other pots, like I said, this one lid does all. Uh, and look at how many pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm thinking they must consider those Chinese stars a, a ten. They call this a ten piece set. One, two, three, four, five. There's five apparatuses here, and then four here. Yeah, it must be that. These handles work pretty kick ass. So on this one, there's just big old handles, right? for your spaghetti, for your clam bake, and all that stuff. These have little notches on the end. This nice handle slips in here, locks in solidly, cook, cook, cook. And you get two of them, which is cool because most cooks that you get like one, and then you're trying to hot pot it out, and the pot's hot, and you're sitting there trying to go, uh, and slip it on another one. That gets old, and you can burn yourself. So you could have two setup i recommend the two setup and so yeah you get everything you need now why do you need this many pots if it's just you and the wife and all you eat is canned food uh and don't uh, you're not a foodie like me you can get away with one fry pan one pot that does it all right if you're really minimalistic but you know this day and age with van life with families that are growing and you just like food, like me, and you want more pots to cook more things because it sucks. And when you go camping, everything's cold by the time you start eating it. So if you can cook it and leave it in that pot and let it heat for a while and not have to transfer it to another one and then clean it and then use that same pot for everything, that's fine for minimalistic thing and we've done that for years. But in this case, we typically like to do spaghetti and then some bread and all this other stuff that goes along with it. And then maybe you're at a um, buffet that all your friends and van lifers and just family, you're camping out there. You're going to have a clam bake. So you're cooking that outside because you don't want to cook clams in the, in the Tofino. That could be stinky. You don't need any clams in there. Uh, th there's enough uh, boofy smells later on in the evening afterwards. So you don't need fish smell added to that. So you cook Use this outside, right? So you're clam bacon, and then you're gonna fry up something. So there's two pans that you need. And then at the same time, you're also boiling water to um, cook corn on the cob or whatever. So having multiple pans, you don't need more than five. You could probably get away with two or three, but this is kind of cool because you can have all sorts of different sizes that nest within each other. Fairly small, like I showed. And it works really good. It's been a, our cookware at our home it hasn't been a non-stick for about the last two decades. So finally having something that's non-stick that you can cook an omelet on, it's like magic. <laughs> I have to tell you. So anyway, Magma, this is a real slick cook set. So whether you're a pleasure way Tofino owner like us, an RV owner, uh, a camper, a marine person, Jacques Cousteau, I don't care who you are, these, this nesting set is kick-ass. Uh, that's, for lack of a better word, kick-ass. It works great. Uh, again, uh, just don't put that magnetic induction stove stuff on metal because you might have a little sticky situation going on there. 
but it's a really cool set. And in our Tofino 2022 chassis, this whole thing in the nice bag slips right under the bottom area. And nice and quiet, I can drive for eight hours and not go mad. So anyway, that's it. Magma cookware set. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.